This is an appeal to Harari state leaders regarding current events. From Harari Alliance for Justice and Equality, narrated by Dalia Ahmed. Dear respected leaders, Harari Alliance for Justice and Equality, HAJE, is a Harari political advocacy group that works for the interests of Harar and Harari people in Ethiopia and globally. HAJE was founded in mid-2018 as a direct consequence of the immense shifts in the political landscape that have begun to unfold in Ethiopia since the change of government in early 2018 and are ongoing in all regions of Ethiopia. Hararis across the globe came together and created an organization that advocates for the interests of the Harari people in particular and other nationalities in general, who live side by side within the Harari, Harari regional state. In the short time since HAJE has been in existence, several things repeatedly came up in discussions with individuals, organizations, and Harari residents regarding current political turmoil in Harari politics. It is our hope that with this statement, we can relay a few of these fundamental issues that are foremost in the hearts and minds of Harari people. First, the lack of consultation that the Harari regional government, in particular the Harari National League, has demonstrated time and again is disturbing. A foundation of all modern governments is the idea that a government at its core is representative of its constituents and derives its authorities and legitimacy only from those it represents. Without this direct direct link to the people, no government can hope to survive for long. Important decisions that have impact on current and future status of the Harari regional state are made without first consulting the people of Harar. Critical issues are discussed behind closed doors and are presented ready to be implemented without the awareness and participation of the Harari people. The government's plan and decisions come to a total surprise when announced in the news media. This has happened on numerous occasions that the general population is now disillusioned and has started to believe in rumors and hearsays rather than facts and truth. HAJE believes that such rumors could easily be avoided if the Harari regional state leaders consult and communicate regularly with the Harari people on what is being planned. Therefore, it is imperative that the president and leaders of the Harari regional state provide information and conduct briefings and town hall meetings regularly to show that the current administration is open and transparent on the plans and actions to be taken. Thereby, provide the public an opportunity to discuss and provide comments on issues that are vital to the survival of the Harari people as a nation within Ethiopia. Secondly, lack of transparency in the daily decisions and actions of the state government is destructive and counterproductive to a healthy relation between the governed and those that govern. Transparency is the basis of trust and accountability. In the fact that is so vital, transparency is nurturing to a healthy democracy. It is mentioned in both the Harari Regional State Constitution and Ethiopian Federation Constitution as an essential element and right of the governed. Without transparency and consultation, People lose their sense of agency and fall into a mindset of inevitable doom and despondency and ultimately lose their faith and legitimacy in their government. Again, truth and justice will be the first causality in the absence of transparency and consultation. If Harad is to live up to the promise and potential of its people and residents, a transparent and consultative Relationship needs to be initiated, developed, and nurtured between the Harari regional state government and the people and residents of Harar. Without these, we risk dysfunction, waste, and lack of trust in the institutions of government. Hararis deserve better and demand better. The people of Harar, both in Ethiopia and abroad, 
are looking earnestly for our leader's wisdom to lead us through these difficult times. HAJE is committed to advance and advocate for the interests of Haredi people by advocating for ethics and governance, teamwork, nonpartisanship, mutual respect, professionalism, and transparency. Only together can we effectively meet and overcome the challenges that are ahead of us. Respectfully, Haredi Alliance for Justice and Equality. If Harar is to live up to the promise and potential of its people and residents, a transparent and consultative relationship needs to be initiated, developed, and nurtured between the Harari regional state government and the people and residents of Harar. Without these, we risk dysfunction, waste, and lack of trust in the institutions of government. Hararis deserve better and demand better. The people of Harar, both in Ethiopia and abroad, are looking earnestly for our leaders' wisdoms to lead us through these difficult times. HAJE is committed to advance and advocate for the interests of Harari people by advocating for ethics and governance, teamwork, nonpartisanship, mutual respect, professionalism, and transparency. Only together can we effectively meet and overcome the challenges that are ahead of us. Respectfully, Harari Alliance for Justice and Equality. IHMS.